Hey everyone, so I was asked to make a witch hat uh, bag topper. So I'm in design space and I'm just searching for a witch hat. I found it to be easiest just to get a solid image so far. So I picked this cute little like curled witch hat and I measured it out at I think like five inches, four by five inches I believe. So you just want to um select it and duplicate it. I'm changing the color so you can see it. Um, you just want to line them exactly up and then the top one you want to select it. Well I'm aligning it. I was pretty much right on there but anyways you want to select the top image which would be the purple one in this case and then you go to flip and then you want to do vertical and then just move it straight up so you want to move it um, slightly overlapping because that's the part that you're going to fold over your bag to make it a bag topper um, I'm just aligning it center horizontally um, I accidentally pressed the wrong button but um, if you have a scoring tool you can go to shapes and then score line and you can put one in the middle um, I don't have a score tool so it won't let me but I'm just kind of showing you how to do it and then um, yeah it will score it for you I just fold it over um, it's not a big deal I just put the hats down and then fold it in half but you want to select the image and wield them together so it's um, one whole piece. And again, I can't use the score, but if you can, you put it on there when you wield it together. And then you go and you make it and cut it out. And if you have any questions, please let me know. You can um, DM me on Instagram. Leave a comment below if you need help with anything. Um, yeah it's so super easy and you can do any images you can make turkeys hearts i mean anything you want and you just do it the same exact way and yeah they turn out so so much fun and so super cute so this is what it looks like when it's cut out again if you had the score line it'd be right down the middle but i don't have a score tool so i just fold down the bottom and then slowly fold it up and crease it so they're together and that's your bag topper you just put the bag right on the bottom of the brim of the hat and you can decorate it and have a lot of fun so I made a quick Halloween memory decks um, just to put in the bag that I'm going to use the topper with so it kind of matches and looks cute so you can get an idea um, this is the beautiful um, Beautiful Nights, I think, by Crate Paper. I'll leave the link down below. I get digitals at acdigitals.com. Um, I just used some Crate Paper to make like a little um, thing. I don't know what those, oh, ruffle, there we go. Um, and Barely Art Glue and some foam tape, um, foam squares, and everything like that. I ended up switching the ruffle paper to the other side on that card. I don't know why I just did. I thought it looked better. And then, yeah, I made some rosettes um, using the Tim Holtz dies with my cuddle bug. And yeah, I hope you enjoy and get some great ideas. Let me know if you're going to make any bag toppers and what um, style. I'm so excited that I finally did this because the holidays are coming up. So they'll be really fun, um, especially doing like different shapes and images and stuff. It's going to be a lot of fun. I need to try and make one with a handle. Um, I don't think I've done that yet. I know I cut one out with just regular paper, but yeah, I haven't done it in design space. But yeah, if you need any tutorials or help with anything, I am so happy to do it for you. Again, just let me know um, down in the comments or DM me on Instagram or yeah, just let me know. I hope you have a great day and I hope this helps you. Again, I'm always here for you. Have a great day. Bye.